Sportsline.com, publicly traded company. Let's take a look at a one-year chart of Sportsline, currently trading at $8.47, up about a buck today, but way off its 52-week high, as are many of the dot-com stocks. Joining us live from the site of Super Bowl in uh, Tampa, Super Bowl 35, to talk about the weekend's big game is Sportsline.com CEO Michael Levy and current CBS sports analyst who'll be calling the game Sunday for CBS, former New York Giant quarterback Phil Simms. Welcome to you both, guys. Yeah, thank, thank you. Tyler. Let me start with you, Mr. Levy. Uh, what, do you, what kind of content do you have on Superbowl.com, and how is the traffic running? Uh, traffic is good. Reach is good. We've got uh, chat sessions every day. We've got uh, articles. We've got uh, NFL players coming on, and uh, it's uh, really exciting. We, uh, we're really looking forward to the game when we're going to be covering play-by-play -play in six different languages while the game's uh, taking place. How is the basic business of Sportsline.com doing? You uh, report some numbers uh, next uh, week. Estimate a loss of 84 cents a share, up from 57 cents. Are you comfortable with those estimates? Let's get the business out of the way. Uh, are you comfortable with All those right. estimates? Yeah, no surprises for you guys. Uh, business is on track. We're looking good, and, uh, you know, we're very optimistic uh, m moving forward this year. How's the ad environment holding up? It's holding up good for us uh, because most of our uh, ad buyers are the major sponsors of uh, televised sports events. A good example is uh, Superbowl.com where we've got Miller Lite, Ford, mm -hmm. Frito-Lay, Coke, and others. All right, Phil, let me turn to you in the game. If I want to watch one thing on Sunday evening, early on, let's say, what would it be to give me a sense of who is in control in the game? Just watch me. The heck with everybody <laughs> else. <laughs> That's the way it is. Just watch uh, you. You'll you know, be I in control. That, <laughs> yeah, you're right. I'll be in control, all right. I think when you look at the game, there's so, you hear so much about the Super Bowl. Everybody's got the answer what's important. I think the two most compelling storylines are how will the Ravens defense, how will they attack the giant offense? Will it be conservative or will they be real aggressive? And the same will go for the giant offense. What will they do? Will they try to go out and play like they did against Minnesota? Or will they know they're playing the best defense in football and be somewhat conservative against that good defense? So often it comes down to who controls the line of scrimmage. Is the, is the uh, Giants' offensive line big enough, strong enough to play against the Ravens? Well, they can play against them. I don't think you can control them. I think the Ravens' defensive line is the best in football. It's uh, explosive. It's strong. They overpower people. And... I think it's a tough matchup for the New York Giants offensive line. They got to find ways, create ways to give Kerry Collins time to throw the football. I think they're pretty clever. They can do that. Then they got to try to get somebody open. So Giants got a very tough task as trying you, to score as points. You, as you look the at the two teams this week and how they've responded to all of the, the brouhaha over the past week, which team in your view has the better focus? Have the Ravens been distracted by all that attention on Ray Lucas and his murder charge? No, you know what? That's the, probably the biggest misrepresentation of the week. Remember, the Ravens have done, uh, dealt with Ray Lewis every single week of the year. During the offseason, they dealt with it, and they talk, they're loud, they're loose, and I think it's, that's the way the Ravens are. The Giants, they're more in control, they're disciplined, they watch what they say, that's what they are. So when you come to a big game, you can only, you can only be who you are, and both teams have done that this week. Who's going to win, Phil? I, listen, I'm doing the game, and one thing I've learned as a broadcaster, if you predict, you're just a stupid broadcaster, so I'll just try to be a broadcaster. Uh, Mr. Levy, what does the game mean for your business, quickly? It's, uh, it's huge for us. We, uh, if you look, this is the first time uh, Superbowl.com is going to have MVP balloting in the second half. And uh, after the game, we'll have up all the video highlights. I think we're, uh, we're really proving uh, what we can do from a production standpoint. Uh, ad sales look good. I think, uh, you know, we're going to head into uh, the final four. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, March Madness with a have, great opportunity. have to leave it there. Michael Levy and Phil Sims, our thanks to you both. Good luck on Sunday. Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks.